This flight is an examination of the stability and control characteristics and, and the handling qualities. We shorten the tuft of string on the nose. Um, it's acting as a, a slip indicator. It was very turbulent at the length uh, we had it. Now it's much more stable. There's George, a friend of Mike's, come to inspect us. He's in a Eurostar, which is much faster than we are. He, he couldn't fly slow enough to remain on station. A quick pan around. You can see that both elevons are up. Uh, we're flying quite slowly at the moment. Everything appears to be in trim. Um, Mike attached a bungee to the pitch control before this flight, um, which means it will now fly hands off. This current camera view is quite wide angle, so we're seeing a, a marked curvature of the horizon. I've already carried out an ASI calibration in a previous flight. Uh, the ASI wasn't too far out, but it's over-reading like most microlights. I've also had a chance to assess the stability. Um, everything seems pretty stable. All the modes are stable, so I'm not really concerned. Some flying wings from the past have had the uh, reputation of poor stability in pitch and uh, very sensitive pitch control but this one is it's pretty much normal it feels like an ordinary aeroplane That's the M1 down there, and it's good to see an onshore wind farm, saving us lots of carbon emissions. It's the cheapest form of electricity generation now. You'll notice that as the direction of the aeroplane changes, the uh, direction of the camera doesn't have allowed it to do its own thing at this stage. There's George again in his Eurostar.
Now I brought the camera view around to face forward. Considering we've just had one of the longest droughts ever in the UK, the fields of grass are greening up quite well in the recent rain. Uh, all the wheat, of course, is ripe and so it's still yellow. Back at the airfield, so uh, time for a few manoeuvres. Slowing down for a stall, it actually stalls well below 40 miles an hour or 35 knots. Actually it's reluctant to stall, it will fly below 40 miles per hour, but it doesn't have enough elevator authority for a proper stall, a bit like a shadow. That's full back stick and it's just mushing along. Climbing now to gain a bit more height for a few more manoeuvres. I think I found the best speed for uh, best climb rates. It's around 45 miles an hour, but we'll carry out some performance testing later on. A first estimate of climb rate is about 650 feet per minute, and the um, descent rate in a glide, with the engine ticking over, is around 350 to 400 feet per minute. I want to persuade Mike to let me try some um, gliding without the engine, turn the engine off, so that we can get some proper uh, 
performance figures out of it and, and produce a drag curve. You'll notice that the right aileron is at the wrong position for this turn. It should be deflected downwards, but remember it's got a bit of a pelivator on as well. Um, it was deflected more downward when, when it, I initiated the turn, but now that we're in it, it needs backing up a bit. I don't think it's uh, too stable in roll, but that's true of most microlights. I'll be investigating the roll stability and spiral mode and all the other modes in, in later flights. A wing over coming up. And another to the right. back towards the airfield because I'm going to do a, a zoom stall now. So we went into a vertical climb and lost all airspeed and the nose dropped right through to the vertical. It recovered straight away with a bit of a belly beta. Um, I didn't want the speed to build up too far, but it did pull 3G. Another more gentle stall there, um, under power this time. Again it just nods, it uh, doesn't really have a defined stall. Another wing over. This is an interesting bit. I had noticed that when I pulled back on the stick rapidly um, there was an initial increase in angle of attack but then it bogged down as if the root of the wing was stalling which I think was what was happening. 
So I did this a few times here. I pulled back rapidly against the stop in pitch. Uh, didn't overstress the aeroplane. We were flying fairly slowly. But each time it kind of bogged down. Unfortunately, that's where the video ends. The camera reached its far length limit. Um, I'm still new to it, so I need to find a way around that.